Hello everyone, welcome to Wrestling News with the Dude. So today, I'll be talking about what happened yesterday or even few days ago. Starting off with, of course, GTS Eat Out. Mormon Reigns got a surprise victory over Jimmy Controversy. Not really though, due to outside interference. Gay Mysterio got the victory over Jay Kirby in a false count anywhere match, which means that Jay will not get a championship opportunity for six months until February 2020. I hope he follows through the stipulation since he lost a match against Gay Mysterio. We had an impromptu match for the Hardcore Championship. Chris Banks only held the title for a few minutes until Francesca stole the victory and got the title back. Thanks to the 24-7 rule. Tony Emerald finally defeated Onslaught and this isn't the first time that he defeated him. In case if you have watched the Patreon preview a few months ago. And as I said, third time's the charm. Tony Emerald, the new GTS Heavyweight Champion. What an awesome tag team match between a team of Hitman Jones and Shamar and Legends of New Jersey, Jay Evans and Jay Cage. And this was for the GTS Tag Team Championship. Hitman Jones and Shamar are currently the new GTS Tag Team Champions. And uh, of course, the YouTube Championship match should have been the main event because what kind of booker who would put a ladder match or a special singles match in the main event? Does WWE ever put the US title match as the main event? The answer is no. And this proves that the YouTube Championship is starting to lose prestige. Although I don't have any problems with those guys headlining the show, good for them. But the schedule list of matches is the only problem for pay-per-view shows. Anyways, let's talk about the YouTube title match. So the match was... Uh, meh. But I'm kinda disappointed that the match was supposed to be fair, but instead we had some interference, which I knew it was going to happen. At least Grim didn't spray paint the title belt like Hollywood Hulk Hogan, brother. So I just found out that not only Grim, Clay Sawyer, Gay Mysterio, Momin Reigns, Magic, and Legends of New Jersey are heels. All six of them are officially part of a stable faction group known as, no pun intended, Legendary. Grim is still the fat man that runs the brand and he is once again the new YouTube Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Champion. There are two more matches to go and I'll talk about it on the next episode. And next up, NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff, and what a decent pay-per-view for NXT UK. So Noam Dar defeated Travis Banks in an opening match. We had an awesome impromptu match between El Juna Dragune, no, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. But he went up against Cesaro, and wow. The crowd even chant, are you watching, are you watching, are you watching Vince McMahon? And we had Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster the new NXT UK Tag Team Champions and this match was the match of the night for WWE United Kingdom TakeOver Cardiff in my opinion. Joe Coffey defeated Dave Mastiff in a last man standing match and this was a pretty decent match in my opinion. Kaylee Ray is your new WWE United Kingdom Women's Champion. The main event was alright though, but not the best in my opinion, due to slow paced matchup in the beginning. And Walter is still your WWE United Kingdom Champion. Let's talk about AEW All Out. So what happened on the pre-show, Nyla Rose won the Casino Battle Royale and will get a title shot for the AEW's inaugural Women's Championship on the debut episode of Wednesday Night Dynamite. And there were many big names who entered the Battle Royal with the likes of Shalandra Royal, Leva Bates, Fabi Apache, Priska Kelly, Penelope Ford, Shaza McKenzie, Sadie Gibbs, Big Swoley, Britt Baker, Tennille Dashwood, Ivalice, Bea Prisley, Brandy Rose, Awesome Kong, Ali, Nicole Savoy, Teal Piper, ODB, Jazz, and Mercedes Martinez. And wow, what the battle royal was, eh, well, I would say the quality of match, we had so much uh, awesome maneuver. However, the first Casino Battle Royal at AEW was 
pretty extreme. Private Party defeat Angelico and Jack Evans in an awesome tag team match. And then on to the main card with an awesome opening match between SCU and the Jurassic Express. I mean, that name was pretty better than the the Viking experience. Yeah, whatever. So SCU picked up the victory over Jurassic Express. Pac got a surprise victory over Kenny Omega. And that match was pretty good, actually. Holy crap. I was into some hardcore match because we had Jimmy Havoc versus Darby Allen versus Joey Janela in a Cracker Barrel Clash match. So many holy shit moments and oh my god, this is just too hard to watch someone get paper cut going through thumbtacks and even dumping a cup of thumbtacks in the mouth. But yeah, yeah, I said it. This is just too much. Although it's not as brutal as Eddie Guerrero versus JBL from Judgment Day 2004. But hey, Jimmy Havoc won the three-way match after he hits with the Rainmaker. And we had the Dark Orders, Eva Uno and Stu Grayson, who got the first round by in the AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament. And then, by the way, Orange Cassidy made his surprise appearance after the lights went out. Riho defeated Hikaru Shida and she will face Nyla Rose for the inaugural AEW Women's Championship on the first episode of AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite. Cody showed up in an awesome entrance of Star Trek, although Cody vs Sean Spear was, well, I would say, not the best match in my opinion. Here's why. There are so many interference from Tully Blanchard and MJF and this was a slow paced match. I mean, look at this. I mean, why? Oh, and also, what a surprise! Tully's fellow mate from the Four Horsemen, the Enforcer, Arn Anderson, gave Sean Spears a spine buster. And yeah, Cody won the match, by the way. Lucha Brothers, Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix are still AAA World Tag Team Champions. And what an awesome Escalera de la Muerte between Lucha Bros and the Young Bucks. And this match was the match of the night in my opinion. So many high spots, yeah, I feel bad for Pentagon Jr. who got unmasked on camera. I mean, this isn't the first time that he was unmasked. Oh, and how cool was it when the LAX, Ortiz, and Santana dressed up as a former US president show up at All Out. AEW may have the strongest tag team division right now, but let's hope that we will see some awesome tag team match on every weekly episode of Wednesday Night Dynamite. Featuring Impact Wrestling stars Ortiz and Santana. The main event was, well, bloody, not brutal, but strong match. Although, I didn't like the way Chris Jericho hits with uh, the new finishing move called the Judas Effect. I mean, which honestly is better than John Cena's Lightning Fist. But still, it's not that devastating because there's been many countless of wrestlers who use a spinning back left elbow in WWE. But I don't want to get into a comparison between two different companies. But hey, congrats to Chris Jericho on becoming the inaugural AEW World Champion. And as for Hangman Page, well, he has some unfinished business to do. Oh, and by the way, CM Punk didn't show up at AEW All Out, so there you have it, folks. That's all I got for this week's episode of Wrestling News with a Dude. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more content, and join the notification squad by tapping that little bell so you don't want to miss the latest upload on this channel. As always, Goodbye, peace, and good day.